Today we'll be working with graphing linear equations and slope. As you can see, slope is rise over run. So the rise of your graph divided by the run. This can also be written as y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2, where you have two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2. First, I'm going to show you how to do it with a graph. So you're going to choose two points on your graph and find the rise, so up and down, and the run, left or right. Here's a graph. So we're looking for points. We have a point here at negative 1, 0, and a point here at 0, 2. Now, if we look at this, we rise 2, so our slope is going to be 2, and our run is 1. So our slope is 2 divided by 1, which is 2. It doesn't matter what points you choose. If we choose this point and this point, we see that our rise is 6, and our run is 3. 6 divided by 3 is also 2. So our slope is 2. Another example. If we look at this equation, we have a point here. Again, it doesn't matter which points you use, and we'll choose this point here. Let's find our rise, 3, and our run is also 3, so our slope is 1. Now, here we have a graph. Let's look at this point here on the graph and this point here on the graph. Now, if we're looking at our slope, we want our rise, which is 4, and our run is going to the left, which means it'll be negative, negative 6. Okay? Because we are going to the negative values, it is a negative 6. So our slope, 4 divided by negative 6, or 2 divided by negative 3. Now, if we chose different points, so let's look at this point here and this point here. So we're choosing a different point. Our rise is negative 2. And our run is positive 3. So our slope is negative 2 over 3, the same as 2 over negative 3. They're the same. They're equal. So it's the same slope. Now let's look at the same problems, but use our formula. So we're going to actually use the coordinates of each point. So if we're looking here, we have one point here, one point here. So we're going to use negative 1, 0, and 0, 2. So if we use our formula, this is going to be x1, this will be y1, x2, y2. So we're going to write 0, minus 2 divided by our x's, negative 1 minus 0. So then we get negative 2 divided by negative 1, which is 2. So our slope, m, will equal 2, just like we got when counting our rise, 1, 2, over our run, 1. So it works both ways. Let's try another. 
we have a point here. We have a point here. <coughs> so we're going to have negative 1, negative 3 as one point, and 0, negative 2 as another. So again, if we label with our x1, y1, x2, y2, then we can write our formula. We have negative 3 minus a negative 2 divided by negative 1 minus 0. When we minus a negative, we actually add. So that's going to be negative 3 plus 2, which is negative 1 divided by negative 1. That's going to be a positive 1. So our slope is 1, exactly like we got when counting. And one last example. We have a point here, and we have a point here. Now this is negative 3, 2, and this is 3, negative 2. Again, you can choose any point you want. It's just easiest to find an exact point. This wouldn't be a good point because you can't tell the exact y value. You don't know where that is, so we're not going to use that point. You want to use points where you can tell what the y and x values are. So we're going to label x1, y1, and x2, y2, and then we're going to write our formula. So we have 2 minus a negative 2 divided by negative 3 minus 3, which equals negative 2 plus 2 divided by negative 6, which is 4 divided by negative 6, which we then find as 2 divided by negative 3, what we found earlier today.